close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. Stay in touch with your breath. If you want to see the truth of something, you have to stay with it. We're trying to see the truth of the mind. As the Buddha said, we live based on our karma, past karma plus present karma. There's not much you can do about your past karma, but your present karma is something you can change for the better if you pay careful attention to what you're doing. This is why we meditate and why we try to focus the mind in the present moment, because the present moment is where these choices are being made. The Buddha saw that once we're born, there's going to be aging, illness, and death. This is, these are things you can't escape. But the suffering that comes from these things, or comes with these things, is something you can escape. Because it turns out the suffering doesn't come from them. We add it. So we're going to see how we're adding suffering to our lives, where we don't have to. So we pay attention right here, continually right here. Because you do want to see the connection between what you're doing and the, the pleasure and pains or neutral feelings that you get as a result. So you've got to watch. And you have to watch patiently. These things may not come right away. But you watch. And you try to make yourself comfortable right here. This is why when we focus on the breath, we say, don't just watch the breath coming and going out. We say, try to make it comfortable. What kind of breathing would feel really good right now? Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Then you can ask yourself, could it feel better? Would longer breathing feel better or shorter breathing? Deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter? Or in long, out short, in short, out long? What does the body need right now? What does the mind need right now in order to stay here? As you work with the breath in this way, you do get more sensitive to what you're doing, the choices you're making right here, right now. And you're feeding the mind well. As I would have said, the mind feeds off of three things. It feeds off of sensory contact, sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. It feeds off acts of consciousness, and also feeds off your intentions. So you're trying to establish a good intention right here. And you're trying to make that practice as you go through the day. Try to encourage intentions to be generous, and encourage intentions to be virtuous, follow the precepts. Because when the mind is acting on good intentions like this, it's a lot easier to observe it. If it's acting on bad intentions, it tends to hide them from itself. And then you don't really know what's going on. But if you decide, I'm going to act only on good intentions, skillful intentions, then it's easier to watch them. And when the time comes to sit down and meditate, okay, you've developed that habit, watching your intentions, and doing your best to make sure they're good. That way, if anything unskillful comes up, you can notice it right away, right away. Because you're right here, and you're firmly established, at least you're trying to stay firmly established in one good intention. The intention to be with the breath. To make the breath your anchor here in the present moment. So stay here continually, and you'll see what's going on. It's like watching a TV show. If you walk into the room, and then walk out, and then five minutes later you walk in again, walk out again. You don't really know what happened during those five minutes. You may have some ideas, you may make up some storyline to make sense of what's happening now. But how do you know what really happened? The only way is to stay there. Watch continually. And even when you watch continually, you may notice if you ever watch the rerun of a movie or a rerun of a TV show, especially a really good one. There are things you miss the first time around. Maybe you look at it a third time and a fourth time, and you still find things that you missed. This is why when we meditate, we keep coming back to the breath, back to the breath. Because there are things going on here, here in the present moment, that you're not seeing. But if you keep coming back, you're bound to see them.
This is how you come to an understanding of what's going on in the mind. When you understand how the mind is creating suffering, then you can stop. So that's the essence of the Buddha's message. That's the essence of the skill that he taught. Here's just a few days after Obisak. We're still thinking about his awakening. That's the message of his awakening, is that people can find true happiness by training their minds. And we can live in this world where there's going to be aging, illness, and death, but we don't have to suffer from them. That's a very worthwhile skill, and one that you should work on developing and mastering as you can. <laughs>